What's up YouTube? Chris Bandy here. I'm going to show you how to solve the Pyraminx. If you need help, read the description before commenting. Start by twisting each of these corners so that they are solved. A corner is solved when each of its three colors matches up directly with the centerpiece below it. For example, when I turn this corner like this, the red sticker matches up with the red center below it. Blue matches up with blue, and green matches up with green. Therefore, this corner is solved. So do that for all four corners. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, find the three corners that have yellow on them. This one has yellow. This one has yellow. And this one has yellow. Three corners make a triangle, so you need to find that triangle. So if the three corners with yellow are here, here, and here, that means the triangle is this whole face. We need to rotate each of these three yellow corners along with their centers so that all three yellow centers are showing on this face. So if we take this corner and its center and rotate it up like that, we've got one yellow center on this face. Here's the second one. And here's the last one. Once you get all three yellow centers on this face, hold the puzzle so that this face is on the bottom. Now take this top chunk and rotate it so that this top center is the same color as the two bottom centers. So I see that the top center is green, and the two green bottom centers are over here. So I just rotate once to the right, and all the centers on the puzzle are solved. To solve the edges, you will need to learn one algorithm that has four moves. Horrible, I know. It goes like this. Side A goes down, side B goes down, side A goes up, side B goes up. That's it. The reason I didn't say whether side A is right or left is because you will use it as either, depending on the situation. If you do the algorithm with the right side going down first, this edge here will move to the right. As you can see, this is the green-blue edge. After I do the algorithm with the right side first, the green-blue edge has now moved to the right. And if you do the algorithm with the left side going down first, you guessed it, this edge here moves over to the left. It's back where it started. With this algorithm and a little intuition, you should be able to move all of the edges into their correct places. An edge is in the correct place if and only if both of its colors match up with the colors of all the adjacent pieces. For example, this edge is obviously in the correct place because its colors are green and yellow, and the adjacent pieces are green and yellow. This edge, even though it is flipped the wrong way, is still in the correct place because it is red and blue and the adjacent pieces are red and blue. This edge is not in the correct place. Even though it has yellow and some of the adjacent pieces are yellow, the red does not match up with the blue. Remember, both of the colors need to match. Start by picking an edge like we just showed, where it's not in the correct place, but exactly one of the colors matches. Here's one. This is the red-green edge. Now face this edge straight on, like this, so you can see the other four edges that it is just barely touching. Those are the four destinations where we can move this edge using our algorithm. We need to find which one of those destinations is the red-green destination. If we look over here, we see that this edge is surrounded by red and green pieces, so we know that this is the correct destination. Now, you need to hold the puzzle so that both the edge you're trying to move and the destination are on the top two spots. So, we would hold the puzzle like this. Here's the edge we're trying to move. Here's the destination. They're both in the top two spots. Now, does this edge need to go to the right or to the left? 
obviously it's to the left. So we do our algorithm with the left side going down first. There we go. This edge is now in the correct place. Now, every time, just before you do that algorithm, you need to check. Is the bottom edge already in the correct place? You should only do the algorithm if the bottom edge is not in the correct place. For example, this edge here needs to go to the left, but this edge here is already in the correct place. So don't do the algorithm just yet. Instead, turn the bottom layer until the edge that is here on the bottom is not in the correct spot. So if I turn the bottom layer like this, the edge that is down here now is green-yellow, and the pieces surrounding it are green-red. So it's obviously not in the correct place, so we're good to go. Do the algorithm, and as soon as you're done, just turn the bottom layer back to where it was. There we go. Now, you may end up like this, with an edge up here that has to go to the right or left, but all three bottom edges are in the correct places already. So twisting the bottom layer isn't going to get you an edge that you could use. This is because the edge that you want is trapped in the back, right here. If this happens to you, push that edge down to the left side using the back layer, like this. Then turn the bottom layer to bring that edge around to the bottom of the front face, like this. Now do whichever algorithm you needed. After doing the algorithm, move the bottom layer back over to the left, and then push that back layer back up to get the puzzle back to normal. Once all your edges are in the correct places, some of them may still be flipped incorrectly. Take two of these edges that are on the same face, do the algorithm with the right side first, then rotate the entire puzzle counterclockwise like this, then do the algorithm with the left side first. That will flip those two edges correctly. We've got two edges left, so we do the same thing. There we go. If you're unlucky, and the last two bad edges are opposite each other, like this, literally do any sort of turn, and the bad edges will now be next to each other on the same face. So look at that face, and do the same thing. Right-handed alg, rotate counterclockwise, left-handed alg. The puzzle should be pretty easy to solve from here. Okay, I hope this helped you. If it has helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me what you want to learn next. Thanks for watching.